this lesson we're going to go ahead and create the uh, the sweater and the easiest way to do that is basically we're going to just take and duplicate faces off of the undershirt and then we'll just adjust the vertices so that it, they're not impinging with the with the undershirt so it's over top of the undershirt so we'll go ahead and select all these faces here this can get a little bit tricky so you know I'm just selecting verts and deselect or sorry selecting faces and deselecting ones that I don't want selected and I'm still looking at the concept on my other monitor while I go ahead and do this you know also a big part of art is or doing character modeling is you wanna whatever it is you wanna grab as much reference reference art or do a lot of a lot of homework in terms of how stuff is is actually supposed to look and you know, I was looking on Google and searching here and there and how I really want stuff to look or how I really want this sweater to look. And there you can see I'm just going to basically duplicate the one side of the mesh. And then I'll just, I'm just duplicating the faces here and then I'll just mirror it back over to get the other side. as you can see I just duplicated it with the edit mesh duplicate and there's the one side of our vest and so I'll just go ahead and start adjusting vertices so that it's on top of our mesh but I need to go ahead and add these to a layer so I you know don't select them and here's our reference layer for our under mesh and just go ahead and start selecting verts and, and basically pulling them out I'm just going to continually shape it and, until I get what I want. This is just the basic blocking of the character. Um, in a couple later lessons, I'll start adding the, you know, the thickness or what looks like thickness to the to the clothing. I mean, I'm not going to you know fully extrude the the full mesh of of the clothing. I'm just going to simply extrude edges in and down for the most part to, to add thickness to them but for right now I just want to you know block this character out and get it ready for sculpting As you can see, I mirrored there, but the vertices weren't in the right positions to, to mirror properly, so I just, you know, reselected them and scaled them so that they're straight, and now I can go ahead and mirror it, and it'll come out fine. Go ahead and adjust those vertices here in the back so that it's not impinging. I'm trying to keep it on top as close as I can. I mean, I don't want to make it, you know, an extreme pull out. I just want to make it sit on top as as close as I can. And I'll merge those verts and go ahead and pull them down because the sweater vest isn't that close to the neck. And I want a little bit of the collar from the undershirt to to be pulled out. So I'm adding an extra edge loop there because I don't want, you know, a triangle mesh like that. <coughs> 
so I'm just going to go ahead and split the face straight down on the front so whenever I uh, extrude that edge in I can actually add a little a couple more edge loops so that it's going to hold its shape a little bit better so you see I cut that triangle face off and I'm just going to go ahead and extrude that face out that's a big thing a character art is you want to try to keep uh, as close to quads as possible um, you can get away with triangles in some places especially when you're doing character art or I'm sorry um, character art for games even though the, tr uh, the meshes usually get triangulated in, in the game engine itself but you want to try to stay as close to quads as possible and it'll actually make it easier for for the riggers to go ahead and rig the model um, the def deformations will be better than it would be say if you had a, tri a triangled mesh or a mesh with a lot of triangles on it and as you can see I'm just adding you know extra edge loops here and here and, uh, and I'm constantly you know if, if if I'm changing one side I just go ahead and delete the other side um, and I have to add in our a split here you know sometimes I do that and, I mean you know I think to myself why well, hey I gotta change this side or I wanna change this side a little bit more after I mirror it and, that, and that's okay I mean it, it's all it's all process and as you can see I split the split the face there and we're all quads again and I'll go ahead and re remirror the geometry and I mean basically there's our sweater <laughs>